Hello again. Today I'll show you how to make a simple animated cursor consisting of seven rotating bubbles in the real world cursor editor. I'll start by creating a unicorn 3D object and inserting a complex comp component by clicking on a screw icon. This will allow me to rotate the entire object later. Then I'll select the inserted component and I add a sphere into it uh, and make it a bit smaller. I need to position uh, the seven spheres I'm going to create in a circle with diameter of one unit. To do this I'll insert a translation into the list of transformation for each sphere and set the second component of the translation to 1 by pressing comma, 1 and enter keys. For the other spheres I'll also modify the rotation angle that's the fourth number on the now second line each sphere will be rotated by a different angle and these angles will be multiplies of one seventh of, of the full circle that means one seventh of 360 degrees that means approximately 51, 102, 154 Minus 154, mi minus 1, 102, and minus 51 degrees. Because the angle ranges from minus 180 to 180 degrees, I had to use negative angles. This is a bit boring but necessary part of the tutorial. If you are too lazy to type all these numbers yourself, the reference files are available on the web as free downloads. Just click the link in the video description to get them. Once I position all the spheres. I'm going to change their diameters. The first one gets 0 0.45 units, the second one 0 0.4 units, the third one 0 0.35 units and so on. I can also reduce the diameter in the 3D view and to make it easier I have turned on the grid. Now I will add one floating point parameter and set its name to angle. Using this parameter I'll uh, make the rotation angle of the complex object parameter visible. <laughs> when all is done I'll save the 3D object and go further to define the snapshots. I will change the light direction a little and add six more frames. In each frame the object will be rotated by one seventh of the 360 degrees. Because I have set 
up a vari variable for the rotation I will just set this variable to different value for each frame ok it's time to turn the animation into a cursor as you can see the object does not fill the entire available available space I'll use a trick here to make it fill a larger portion of the space and make a single central point instead of generating a standard 32 times 32 pixels cursor I'll generate a larger one instead 37 times 37 pixels I'm using an odd number this makes the center of the cursor in center of one pixel not between pixels hmm. the task is to reduce the size of the cursor to standard 32 times 32 pixels first I will select all the frames uh, and then I will move the pictures up and to the left Finally, I'll click on the Change Format button and choose to clip, not rescale, the frames to the standard size. Um, while all the frames are selected, I'll also change the hotspot of all frames at once by typing 15,15 in the hotspot box and hitting Enter. There's one more thing and that is the shadow. I can add shadow to all selected frames at once and it's very easy. If you don't like the blue color, just use the colorize filter and change select the color of your choice. That is all, save your cursor, thanks for watching and enjoy making your own cursors.